Steve Sleep Talking, how are more than 100 charges fake? It could See, be. This is what we have to deal with every day. I get it every day. <laughs> every single day. And listen, it's whatever. Show me the evidence. Show me the yeah. evidence. I've shown you and then you've insulted me back. I'm, you've not shown me no evidence. You've just shown me an opinion. Yeah. You show me an opinion, but I don't know what you about what, what you were trying to achieve. Are you want me to open up right now the list of Man City sponsors. You want to talk about it? Go on then. Okay, you you, you really want to you really want to go there? Go there. Okay, we can go there right now. So okay. let's go to Man City sponsors quickly, just so because I, I have it open up on my phone right now. You know all these sponsors personally. So let yeah. me just decline. So so Man City sponsor number one, Etihad Airways. Um, yeah. number four, um, experience Abu Dhabi. A media in 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 the UAE, uh, Citibank, you know, in 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 the UAE. What's wrong with that? If I, if I open up one second, one second, I'll explain to you if you let me land. So these these are the sponsors, official Man City website here, mancity.com, as you can see. Yeah, so you spend a lot of time on there. Etihad, no, 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 this is my first time there. That's why I had to decline cookies. Of course, it's Etihad true. Airways, Asahi, uh, Etisalat, Experience Abu Dhabi, Media, Emirates Palace. Um, who else here is from the UAE? There's probably a, a couple of more down there, probably from the UAE. I don't even know about. So, you know, all, all, all of these companies right here are all companies from the same exact government that owns Manchester City. So it makes no sense. It's like me sponsoring Hussam Football Club with Hussam Telecommunications. The government and don't then own me acting like it's not. The government don't own Manchester City. The Abu Dhabi group owns Manchester City, not the government. <laughs> That just shows me you're unaware of what goes on in the Middle East, but hey. The no, that just shows me that you're unaware because if we are, if we if we've got an, an owner from from the Middle East, yeah, who literally owns half of the Middle East, who's proud of the Middle East, is he not allowed, yeah, to get Middle Eastern businesses in the greatest league in the world and to be on the shirts of the champions and the European champions? Is he not allowed to do that? No. Would you that rather want also to put an American? You want him to put an American company on there because it suits your agenda. Own? It suits your agenda. Own? All right, okay. So that's the difference. If if you own a, a football club and your brother yes. owns an airline and yes. your football club is winning the Premier League and your brother says for Sam, I want to give you 60 million from my airline to go on the shirts because I want my airline. Come on, you're my brother. Put us on the shirts, mate. You're going to say no because there's a guy on a podcast called Terry Sort who says that it's cheating because we're not allowed to do that because we're both Arabs and we we know each other. Is that what you said? That's not my point. If the source of the I'm money saying. is my... So you're talking about me and my brother. If the source of the money is my dad, then by definition, it's false. It's 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 corruption. But all by Middle Eastern families are like that. You know that yourself. Okay, so you've just proven my point then. So the I'm source of the money is... The, the source of the money is the big guy. What is wrong with there's that? People, what is so wrong the with that? The money, Okay, let me explain it. The source of the money is the big guy. And then there's people below him who all own multiple different things. So this guy sponsors City and the other guy sponsors City and the Etisalat guy sponsors City and the Visit Abu Dhabi guy sponsors City, even though it's the same thing. City Group, Abu Dhabi. So it's the same source of money sponsoring the same Hold thing. on. Is that illegal? That's not the point. That's not the Hold point. on a minute. Hold on a minute. What's your point then? We were already saying it's based on corruption. It's based on... It's, How it's is it corruption if it's not illegal? My God, you can never prove that the source of the money is the same. Oh, my God. The See, East. there you go. It's all... Absolute there is no such again. thing as private nonsense companies. Again. There yeah, is no yeah, such thing Yeah, as... yeah, 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 yeah. Makes no sense. Nonsense. Are you going to call me a clown again because you're upset? Boys, boys, we are going to... There's we're no gonna such thing as a private that. company in we're the Gulf. It's all public. All owned Wait. by the government. But guys, we're gonna move, we're gonna we're gonna go through some more of these super chats here, uh, and then and then go on to another, another uh, co uh, conversation. This is a Van Persie red card versus Barca Champions League fight. It wasn't the final, but was rigged. I mean, that def that was one of the craziest ones. Liverpool sponsors found guilty of terrorism. Well, that's again you're, you're twisting the truth here. It's a, it's a, a big bank, Standard Charter, who have been accused of violating an anti-terrorism law, and banks are banks fall foul to that a lot. That's not a direct issue with Liverpool. Um, so I, again, that's you know, it, it's it's a much deeper issue than that. Because by that, Matt, I know that Barclays have done that in the past, and they sponsored the whole league. So by that definition, every club is guilty of it. You want Barclays? 
Barclays, uh, the Abu Dhabi have got used to. I don't know if they've still got a lot of shares. They, but uh, Abu Dhabi Sheikh and Mansour, the Sheikh, Barclays. Yeah, yeah, Sheikh Mansour was the guy that invested in the shares, before, so they stopped Barclays from becoming nationalized. Absolutely, uh, which is one of the reasons why. Which is which is Steve. Which is the reason why for years when people said they shouldn't be in sport in the in Europe, I was an employee of Barclays, so I couldn't sit there and condemn. I don't do the hypocrisy. I can't sit there and condemn money from the Middle East taking over Man City. <laughs> but then work for a company that got saved by the same country. So, yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh, and I'm big not up condemning to... it either. I'm just talking No, about no, I, I hear that, boys. Let's, let's just try and get through these super chats here. Big up Stephen, uh, Terry, and Hassan. City going, City ain't going anywhere. Rivals keep crying. Uh, this here says, uh, what are you man going to say if City are found not guilty? Bro, I've already said many times, if you guys are not guilty, I'll condemn the allegations and continue to say what I've said all along. Fantastically run club. We're one of the greatest managers of all time, and I wish my club was run better. Equally, if you're found guilty, I won't recognize anything you've won in that time period you cheated as successful. For me, it'll be null and void. So I'm very balanced on this. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm not waiting for the courts. They're guilty in my head. So I know you think that. Uh, to take him down, uh, who would want, who would, sorry. Who would want that, that and why that uh, Pep is yeah. loved around the world? Listen, I, th I think people, I don't think any of these reports are to target Pep because some of these investigations have been going on since before Pep even took over at Man City. So I hear where you're coming from. Uh, this year says, why are Spurs making more revenue than Arsenal, Hassan? Arsenal is a bigger club in London, right? Talking BS as usual. There you go. I don't know what I've got. Do you know what? I'll be dead honest with you. I'm going to be dead honest with you. First of all, Spurs haven't have, made more money than us. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak because you spoke That's a lot. Right? The question is addressing me. The question is addressing me. So let me respond okay. to him and then you can say whatever you want. When it comes to Arsenal, they're, they're making more money than Spurs. Anyway, so I don't know where the fuck you got that from. And second of all, if Spurs are making more money, Spurs are making more money because of all the other shit that they do, which is NFL, Beyonce, blah, blah, blah got nothing to do with someone injecting money into Spurs football club. Main difference. So you, this is the problem with many people. I always say, like, you know, we have an Arabic saying, I always tell you it's a bull and you're like, go get the milk. But bulls don't produce milk. You can't just relate two things to each other that are unrelated. Go ahead, Steve. Nice. Nah, forget it. Waste of my time. Uh, this Waste. year says... Um... In, in the Middle East, things are state-owned, Steve, not private, is what Omar says here. He's from Egypt. Uh, big up, Steve, Terry, and Hassam. I've got nothing against City, but the charges are reasonable. Hassam is right on UAE ownership. Abu Dhabi group ran by the UAE government. Thank you. Uh, the man Barcelona paid... Sorry, the man Barcelona paid received payments for ref reports from 18 different teams, including Real Madrid. Barca is investigated because they paid more, that's all. Well, it's not that's all. There's, there, there's, that's exactly it. They've paid more, and they're being investigated along with multiple other charges. And I think that that's why it's significant in this. And I think as football fans, we all want to see this fair play. If they're innocent, fair play to them.